Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your May 2022 weekly reading. This is a general reading. For those of you that follow me, I apologize that I have not put up any readings recently. If you listen to the last couple of readings that I've done, um, you can see or hear how sick I am. So I've been out of commission for a while, but I'm back and here goes. So um, I apologize again for the, uh, the quality of the video. I'm in a different location and we're gonna resume normal service pretty soon, okay? So bear with me. Now, so interesting your energy as I pulled it, um, Cancer. What I have here in the present position is the fall in the upright. We got the nine of wands in the upright position the six of swords in the upright and the page of pentacles and the thing is all you know this is a general reading and and there's so much going on in your energy right now you've really taken a leap of faith you've opened up your mind your heart your soul you know just every aspect of who you are to move forward in a way that is kind of facing the music and dealing with what you have to deal with it's been something that's been um a, a a challenge for you here in the you know right here in the nine of wands it's been a challenge for you and and it feels like for some part of it you were extremely oh, afraid or fearful of what the outcome would be by taking this kind of really strong leap of faith in your life and just kind of going for something so there is some um you know need to protect yourself uh in regards to kind of like kind of how do i want to put this it, it feels as if what you were dealing with in the present position was a lot of things that were rigid even even legal um, situation so like there's not flexibility in there there's not this malleability it's not like you can go in and kind of change things and so there was a little bit of fear there so some some type of something official regulatory um, bank legal whatever that is housing um, but something that you can't just go in and kind of talk your way out of um, however guess what you did you talked your way out of it because here we see um, in the six of uh, swords here you moving away from this very uh difficult experience in your life and moving to uh something that is much more you know kind of going out of very choppy waters into stable waters i do feel here that um unknowingly cancer right here in the six of swords there is kind of this energy of people having your back, people being on your side, people really rallying for you and wanting this to work out for you. Here in the page of Pentacles in the upright position, in the present position, what we have is um, this very spiritual energy about you, uh, Cancer. From taking that big leap of faith you've generated a lot of emotions that are now stable now you may not actually feel that stable just yet but you know everything we do today you know is what we feel the effect of tomorrow and by taking this leap of faith by moving forward in your life in a very strong and powerful way um you have the spotlight is on you in a very interesting way because what you've done is been able to conquer a lot of fear, conquer a lot of uncertainty, create, you know, kind of through a process of elimination, move things um, in your life or take care of things in your life that you've been needing to take care of because there's been so much avoidance in regards to being afraid of what the outcome would be. Now, here in the page of Pentacles, I have some compassion and empathy. It looks like people around you are just really supportive of you. If you don't recognize that, it might be important for you to kind of take a look at that. Um, because, you, you know, you're so used to being on your own and having to, 
to kind of do it on your own cancer that when somebody kind of offers their support their love their help their encouragement i don't i feel like it kind of goes over your head i feel like sometimes you don't realize that people are doing that and they are most certainly on your side but there's an empowerment in your energy where there is a lot of emotions just um happiness page of pentacles being offered to you there's a, there's a lot of people that you've made happy by taking this kind of huge step that you've taken in your life you know and that could have been in your recent past or coming up right now i do feel like it's kind of like something that you've just gone through here in the strength position we've got the wheel of fortune we've got the nine of cups in reverse We've then got, surprisingly, the Ten of Cups in the upright position and the Page of Wands. And so, you know, this is very interesting because, Spirit, do you want to bring it forward? The Strength position, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups in the reverse, and the Ten of Cups in the upright position and the Page of Wands. Tell me more about this Strength position and what is going on with Cancer. Why are these cards here? What do they mean? You know, how will they help Cancer, motivate Cancer, inspire Cancer? What does cancer need to know? The Wheel of Fortune, you know, this is a remarkable change in your life. By taking this massive leap of faith and moving forward with courage, your fortune has changed cancer. Now, again, you may not feel it immediately. This is something that is actually happening all around you. But because you're in the midst of it, I don't think you have context or realization of really how much things are changing in your life here we go from from the nine of cups now for me in this particular deck i know the nine of pentacles is you know shows a lot of independence but for me the nine of cups um as as a reader it really resonates with me as somebody that is kind of pushing away love and and i know that's not what the tarot meaning is but i go with my psychic and my mediumship rather than the book version of what the tarot means um, because what's coming forward in this energy spirit bring it forward again is that you're going from being you know fiercely independent and doing things on your own to joining forces and creating stability right here now in the ten of cups so that is a very interesting dynamic and change for you because what we have here is you really looking around you from this force that's occurred in your life and and just saying you know what i need to come together with these people so in some situations it looks like you are bonding with people they're bonding with you there's a lot of love here um cancer that has been generated by you by your very presence by the by your very nature by your personality by who you are as a compassionate human being and how much you inspire people because you've shown so much courage lately and even though you don't realize it a lot of people kind of view you as you know what i wish i could do that you know so there's some some really exciting things not exciting for you but as people are kind of on looking looking on sorry um to the actions that you've been taking recently there's a lot of admiration for you there's a lot of love for you there's a lot of cheerleading for you and i don't think you have any kind of concept that that is going on because you do feel so alone much of the time but in the strength position I do see a lot of stability coming in for you right here in the strength position. And guess what? You created it. You created it by being you. Now, for those of you, this is not a love reading. It's a general reading, but I'm picking it up quite strongly. Um, here in the Ten of Cups in the strength position, I do feel like somebody wants to join forces with you. For those of you that are single, maybe those of you that are in a relationship but are going to take it to not you weren't going to take it to the next level but your person's going to want to take it to the next level so there's there's definitely a love aspect here about this joining together for others of you um it's not just love but it's career it's partnership it's family it's friends there's there's a real change 
um, coming in for you, uh, Cancer, and you've done that. It's a very positive change. Right here in the Page of Wands. Spirit, do you want to tell me why the Page of Wands is sitting in the strength position? Tell me more. Bring it forward. Why is the Page of Wands... Your... Your... <laughs> Cancer. I was getting carried away there. It's about... Let me just say it. Um, <laughs> so here in the Ace of Wands, um, Spirit showed me the Ace of Swords here because I said, what, you know, why is this here? And Spirit shows me here that you're cutting shit out of your life. You're just like, you know what, I'm done. And I can't keep um, baggage. And I feel like where you have not deliberately held on to baggage, but you have this emotional baggage. And I feel here in the strength position, you're like, you know what, sod it. That's a British word, by the way, sod it, um, like F it, you know, like I, I can't do this. I'm not going to, you know, keep bothering with this anymore. And so I feel like here there's a real deliberate sense of cutting the waste, trimming the fat, doing what you need to do for you and just really powering through. So in your strength energy, there's a lot of change coming about. There's the wheel of fortune is finally turning in your favor, Cancer. And, um, you know, and it's not just this moment or or the last couple of things or few things that you've done that have been quite significant. But you have been taking action in your life where you're now going to start to see the outcome of that action. So this is a very incredible energy here in your reading. Here in the challenge position, you know, this is the thing that you're going to cut out because right here we have the seven of pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles and we have the nine of swords. And so what it shows here, Cancer, is and this this does feel like money, it does feel like career, it does feel like business for some of you. But you've been working hard on something that is fruitless, absolutely fruitless. And it feels like you've been working for someone else, working for somebody else's, lining somebody else's pocket. Um, making them a lot of money um, and uh, this has caused you a lot of stress because the money that should be owed to you is not being given to you that's for some of you spirit do you want to bring in the other challenge here for those of uh, those cancers that can't resonate with that spirit makes me feel here that it, it is going to resonate with you those of you that can take this reading that there is a money situation that you have just been putting a lot of energy in and hard work and and building a lot and and creating uh so much quality in what you do because you don't do things by halves cancer and so you have been generating a lot of you know, and it's not just money, but if this is a business for somebody else or you're working for somebody else, you're the reputation. People are coming to you. People are not coming to the business because the business has a reputation. You are bringing forward the um, the the quality, the care, whatever it is that you're doing. And this has caused you a lot of conflict. So right here in the challenge position, um, I feel like, you know, with this cutting out energy right here with the page of wands and the page of swords, um, I just feel like, you know, it's hard for you to do this. It's hard for you to walk away from this because you're not the kind of person to just kind of throw your hands up in the air and say, piss off. But you're at that point. I feel like you've been taken advantage of. I feel like you did everything in good faith, but it, it has not come back to you. So you're in a real energy of, you know what, I have nothing to lose. Now, remember, this is a tarot reading. So it's for entertainment purposes only. Don't do anything that you haven't researched and that you don't, that, that's going to leave you in any type of vulnerable situation financially. Moving on to the outcome, we have the Knight of Swords right here. We have the Four of Cups. Over here, we have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. And again, this kind of Ace of Swords energy right here. Spirit, can you bring forward the outcome for Cancer? What's going on? You know, um, opportunities come in your way, Cancer. Opportunities come in your way fast and furious. Now, a couple of things about the outcome. 
I feel whoever's been taking advantage of you here, because this could be a work situation, I feel like they're, they're going to gaslight you. I feel like they're going to kind of, um, they've got, you know, the, the Knight of Wands represents player energy, but in the business context, it, it, it represents a manipulator, a liar, somebody that kind of takes what they want and then kind of rides off into the sunset without you. And so they're, they're using you. And in the, in the energy here and the outcome, it shows them continuing to do that with you. Um, and it is not okay because here we have the four of cups. And so in your energy right here, it's kind of like, you know, they offer you this olive branch and you're like, what the hell? What about all these months or years or whatever it is that I've been, you know, working fruitlessly for you and you just offer me another empty cup again? Like I'm done with you and your stupid promises. I'm done with you and your empty platitudes. And so here again in this energy, we got the Queen of Swords cutting stuff out. You're done. You are not going to worry about this anymore. And again, I want to reiterate, this is not something that you should just follow my advice on. This is something to validate how you're feeling. You must trust yourself and follow your own advice. But here, I, you know, for those of you that this has been happening in a job, I feel that you're cutting it out. I feel like you're going to walk away. I feel like you're going to be done with it. I feel like you're just, you know what, this sucks. And uh, because there's an aspect about what you're doing that is, um, that you're dedicated to, but at the end of the day, uh, it's causing you too much stress right here. It's causing you, it's really depleting your time. It's depleting your energy and it's not worth it. Spirit is saying something to me here. And could give me a minute, um, Cancer. Spirit, what are you explaining to me here? It's not worth it. <clears throat> Can you please give me more? Can you please give me more? Can you please bring it forward? Come closer, Spirit. You know, what were you trying to tell me here, Queen of Swords? You know, there, there's, okay, thank you. So here are the, the Nine of Swords energy. What's happening is that... Um, you're not the kind of person to let people down and what it feels like is that you're letting people down and and yes somebody is taking advantage of you but those people are you know even though you have a commitment and they're relying on you um it's not going to be as bad as you think people think so highly of you cancer and at the end of the day Spirit is drawing reference to that analogy, you know, when the plane's going down and you've got a kid next to you, you don't put the gas mask on the kid, the oxygen mask, you put it on yourself first and then you save the kid, right? And so, um, because if you don't put that oxygen mask on yourself and you put it on the kid, who's going to look after the kid, right? You're, you're going to go down. And, um, and what Spirit is saying here is that you've got to realize that you've got to put the oxygen mask on yourself and that even though you have these responsibilities that you do not want to walk away from you've got to do the right thing overall you've got to have enough wisdom to pull back and understand that this is not just about um the responsibilities you have Spirit is making me feel you have a responsibility to yourself. And um, this is this has been hard work, Cancer. I get it. This has been such hard work. There are people that you really care about. There are things that you really care about. And you've been doing your best to put them first. And what it's done is left you in a situation where whoever this is right here in the Knight of Wands that you're working really hard for is just kind of using you and it shows this in the energy and so um cancer you know we're coming up to your birthday in july and i feel like as we move towards that energy in july i just feel like i feel like you're changing i feel like you've you just I just feel like you're changing. Um, your motivation's changing. Your energy's changing up. 
the spirit makes me feel here that you're being marginalized in the workplace you're being you're being you're being mistreated that i mean that's the only way that i can show it you're being mistreated and it's not cool spirit can you tell me more about the nine of uh sorry the king of wands spirit makes me feel here that when you cut these things out the anxiety will go away in regards to the king of wands what's going to happen is you're going to live in your truth and you're going to go after what it is that you actually have already been creating this has nothing to do with this person or job or person or place or thing or whatever it is that this you know general reading represents what it shows here in the king of wands energy is that you're going to follow your passion you're going to follow your dreams you're going to follow what it is that you were born to do and you're going to do it um you're going to take all that energy that you were spending on lining somebody else's pocket through your hard work and your diligence and your creativity and you're going to start to invest in yourself now again i want to warn you spirit keeps making me feel that i need to warn you guys that don't do this don't just kind of go into if you're if this is applying to a job don't just go in and um hand in your notice do things strategically you know it, it's taken you a long time to come to terms with the fact that you're being used because you know cancer you have a good heart so it's hard for you to think ill of people in that manner that they, that they would actually consciously use you but this is what they're doing they're taking your energy your creativity your intelligence your reputation your ability to um what you bring to the table and they're absolutely a hundred percent using you and it's time to stop it so do what you need to do i do feel like things are going to work out um, but this is what you're dealing with is a huge change in that wheel of fortune energy, a huge change in the 10 of uh, cups energy, huge change. So big changes are coming in. Spirit just made me feel here that there's somebody coming in here. Spirit, do you want to give me another card? Sorry, that made just so much noise. This is tin. Doesn't look like tin, does it? Um, Spirit, can you... Can you just uh, clarify here what you were... Don't throw it on the bloody floor either. Can you just tell me um, uh, uh, somebody else coming in? Can you, can you tell me about that? I don't know why you threw that in at the end of the reading there, but... Can you tell me about it, please? Can you give me a card to clarify? Thank you. Of course, I throw it on the floor. All right, here they are. We have the King and King Knight of Pentacles. We've got somebody on your side here moving forward with you. Um, they're coming in slowly. They're coming in guarded. Um, part of the reason they're doing that is because they don't have any control over the actions that you're taking. Um, I, I feel here that they're protective, protective of you, protective of, I feel like they advise you. Here we have here. You know, I feel like they, they're on your side. I feel like they've got your back. I, you know, he, this is the same person kind of over here as well. Um, there's the same energy right here. So I feel like this person is an extremely protective person. I feel like this person, and, and it's not, Spirit just told me, it's not just one person. It kind of represents this group of people that really love and care about you. But there's one in particular that is ready to um, get your back, protect you, and um catch you if if anything should happen and i don't mean financially but i do mean emotionally this person knows that you're working hard to stand on your own two feet and to resolve these kind of issues that you've been dealing with and you're on the home stretch of all of that spirit really really makes me feel that um spirit makes me feel that this person is also making a decision about you and um they know that you are making a lot of decisions in your life and so this person and spirit bloody hell spirit the reading has to end all right one, one more card and then we're done knight of pentacles do you want to go ahead and tell me a bit more don't drop it on the floor spirit please come on 
What were you going to tell me? Oh, no, you have nothing to say? Come on. Come on. What were you going to say about the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords? Okay. We have the Empress and we... <laughs> We have the two of cups in reverse. Um, so what's happening is uh, this person they they really they they really put you on a pedestal pedestal. It's late, Cancer. I'm sorry, can't speak right now. But this person right here really has a lot of respect and admiration for you. They don't know anybody else like you. And even though the Two of Cups came out in the reverse, they're wanting to partner with you. Spirit makes me feel here that this is also a friend or um, other people coming in to want to partner with you. Now, this person in particular, those of you that may be single, um, it shows that there is a lot of um, desire to spend time with you, to create with you, to share with you. And, um, you know, they're in a place in their life that they want stability and it feels like they're choosing you. Yeah, they, they're choosing you, they're not communicating it yet. Um, there's a lot going on with them in the background too. Sorry, I'm just looking at all these cards here. So things have to happen with you. This is just a weekly reading. Uh, but know that this person is there in the background. Cancer, um, please join me for your next reading. And uh, help me support the channel and engage the channel by leaving any questions, comments, and giving me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for... Um, all the kind of messages that you guys have left. It's very sweet of you to think of me and to um, ask about me. I was really surprised to get those messages. So thank you so much for those of you that did that and uh, were just checking in to see how I was doing because you hadn't heard from me. Um, you guys are great. Love you guys and uh, you take care. Bye.